Hello, my loves. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist, and I'm ridiculously passionate about helping beautiful, soulful women just like you learn to love yourself, trust your intuition, and manifest your heart's true desires. Now, today's video is all about smudging. It's about how to use white sage, how to do it, why I do it, um, and all the beautiful goodness. Now, I have been using sage for a number of years. Number one, it helps me when I'm communicating with spirits. Um, it helps to bring a sense of peace, calm. It helps to clear away negative energy. It helps to, it's actually an antibacterial. It literally makes me feel calm when I'm burning it. And I have this massive stick right over here. So let me quickly grab it and I'll just show you up close. Okay, okay. so this here is white sage now it's literally a plant that has been dried and when you burn it it gives off this i wouldn't say lovely i say sometimes it's lovely and other times i'm like Ugh. it kind of depends on which kind that you get um i use it to energetically cleanse myself before and after readings i use it when i speak to certain people on the phone because their energy is so low vibrational and it kind of like puts an energetic bond between my energy and theirs. Um, I also use it to cleanse um, secondhand goods or clothing that I bring into the house. Um, yeah, I just cleaned the car recently, so I sage cleansed the whole car just to give it new energy. Um, and also because we're trying to sell the car at the moment, so it's like sending it love and yeah. So when you use sage, um, when it's a big thing like this, it doesn't really burn too well. So what I tend to do, oh gosh, I'm just going to break away. There we go. Just this little bit here. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's flying all over the floor. Just this little bit here. And I'm literally going to show you how I do it. So just grab your matches out. Now this will alight pretty quickly, okay? So, can you see that? I just turn it upside down, blow it out, and so you've got it smoking right here. Okay, so when you are energetically cleansing your house, for instance, what you need to do is to put this in all of the corners of your house, like literally run around. And with the doorway, whoops, oh, can you see the doorway at the back? I'll just show you. So you go around, up the top there, and all the way down. You do that with all the doors, all the windows, and you literally hold this into all the corners. So you go around your whole house. I highly recommend you do this just before you vacuum your house because it makes an absolute mess. Um, and oh, I don't know, I just feel like a sense of calm when I do it. It's just beautiful. So I would love to hear from you in the comment section below my love and let me know how do you guys use white sage or if you don't and you're like, Mel, I've got this, so how do I do it? Just basically do what I've done, light it, let it smoke, and then some, I, I was some, I, I'm not gonna put it over my hair right now because I've just washed it. And plus it's gonna flake off. But I would some, oh, there we go. I go, go like that seven times with seven different chakras just to like energetically cleanse myself as well. There are so many uses for white sage. If you're spiritual, you've probably seen this and I, don't, I just swear by it. I just can't get enough of it. And it's something that I use to, I white sage my house every single week. I sage the car whenever I clean it. I white sage anything new. Every time I do a reading before and after each client, I sage myself to energetically cleanse and get rid of their yucky negativity or whatever it is. Cause I'm an empath. I literally take on their emotions and it just makes me feel really, really good. So yeah. Anyways, my love, whew, I'm surprised my smoke alarm hasn't gone off yet. Anyways, I just wanted to remind you to continue to make better choices. Comment below, let me know what comes up for you in regards to white sage. If you have any other questions, let me know. I would love to answer them for you. And make sure you do your self-love practices so you stay in vibrational alignment and vibrate on the frequency of love, the most powerful frequency of all. Anyways, my love, I love you. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. I'll see you soon. Bye.